Coming up on the round 13 wrap of the AFL Today show, Stats Boys team got a win! Finally, I got the uh, full enough mode. I had a massive weekend. How good. In fact, so did Alex's team. I know, first time since round two, 2023, the collective has won. That's Finally. right, because my team beat the best team in the AFL, the Essendon Bombers. Sucked in. <laughs> hey, also, Tassie, that's a fun place for James Sisley. Better listen to this show. We are wrapping every single game, talking out all the best teams. We saw the best players, the MND slide, the big freeze. You love to see it. It was an awesome round of footy. Five days. That's the last time we get Thursday night footy. Oh. We've got some thoughts on that, so you better listen to AFL today right now. Everyone's favourite thing, though, after the round, it's time for... Ladder check. After round 13 <laughs> of the AFL, we have the Sydney Swans 11-1. to Oh. Very clearly on top of the ladder, ahead of the best team in the AFL. No, not Essendon, no. <laughs> Carlton are nine and four in second. Um, the difference in percentage is hilarious because Sydney just keep belting teams. They're 148 They lost 2% on the weekend, though. How That's dare incredible. they? But it's uh, they've got one game in hand, and with the percentage, it feels like it's a four-game advantage rather than it yeah, being two. There's a lot of bad percentages just looking at the top yeah. six, isn't there? There really is. So Carlton are 109.8, but they are nine and four, so you'll take that. So they're 36 points. They're yep. two wins mm -hmm. behind. Sydney, which is just chaos at this point in the season. And a game ahead. Because they've yeah. actually, yeah, actually and the game one ahead, more yeah. game. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Tough, tough gear. Essendon, <laughs> talk about percentages. They're 8 4 and 1 after that loss on the weekend. They're in third still on 34 points because of the uh, Anzac Day draw. Yep. Their percentage is basically an even 100. It's pretty funny. Which yeah, that's, is not good. that's not good for third. They've Port. scored 1,081 points and led in 1,079. Gross. Port, <laughs> error 8 and 4. Yep. Feels right. Off the bye. Had the bye. Who cares? It's just. Their name just in that top four is like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Someone that. said, this, yeah, someone said is this the most fraudulent top yeah. four we've seen in a while? Yeah. Right. Take out the ladder leaders. It doesn't feel right. Maybe. Geelong, eight and five after a tough one in Sydney, of course. Lost then, four of their last five. Mm. They have. Well, you sort five of, of their last six. Is it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's five of six because they yep. had the win. They, they lost win four in a row. And four. then they won. Yeah, so they lost five of six. Yeah, that's bad. Collingwood, after their win today, 7-4-2 and two on 32 points as well, which is actually always fun because the two ties add up to a win. Yep. Uh, but in sixth spot now, the Pies, seventh, Frio, heave-ho, way to go with that one draw there on 30 points. Eight, the Greater Western Sydney Giants, they're seven and five. <laughs> uh, remarkably, they're remarkably, they're because they've played 12 games, having had the bye last week. Yeah. They're the only team that's seven and five. Very weird. Yes. Because you've got two seven and six teams. The Gold Coast Suns who can't play beneath the 28 oh degree latitude. What are they doing? And the Melbourne Demons who just can't play football well. Their percentage is 100.1. Well, you call them not making finals. This is, this, uh, I'm we, starting to we lean towards your way We now. just talked about this on the live stream with Al before we mm. signed off. It's like you're looking at the rest of their season and you're probably only guarantee, guaranteeing four wins. Even those yeah. guarantees feel pretty sketchy. They are North and West Coast, two of them. West Coast exactly. have already beaten them. Yes. And yeah. North... Could beat them. Uh, wait, Maybe. No, no, no. Perhaps. If Super and, then, 10. and then I think one of them was like, yeah, they played uh, someone over, like GWS here and we gave them that one. Mm. The Bulldogs, after losing to the Lions, are 6-7. and seven. The line of demarcation still rules. They are yeah. 11th. <laughs> if you are better than the Dogs, you're a chance to play finals. If you are not, probably no chance. That includes the very sneakily okay mm. Hawthorne Hawks, who was 6-7 and seven as well. Yeah. Unfortunately, oh, wow. their percentage is 88.1. Yeah, they're cooked. One. They're going to have to win a couple of extra games. Yep. Brisbane are 5-6-1. and one. It's a tricky one. They've got a Thursday night footy game this week against the Thursday. Saints. Friday. Sorry. Friday. We wish they were Thursday. Ugh, I'll talk about yeah. that in a sec. <laughs> Brisbane, 5-6-1, 22 points. Uh, they are adrift of the eight. There's a sniff. But they're alive. Yep. There's Saints. They got the talent for it. Five and eight. Probably not alive. Saints not alive. Adelaide. <laughs> Dead. Definitely Gone. not alive. Gone. Gone. Four, <laughs> eight, and one. Gone, Skeet. Matthew Nix is like, we're going to double down on what's gotten us here. It's like, you're four, eight, and one. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, what, yeah what's gotten them there? Three and ten of the West Coast Eagles. That was a tough loss on the weekend. Richmond, they got a win. Two and 11. And North, yes. they also won. We're back. Stats boy. Can make finals from I here. I can no longer actually do the, there is one remaining winless no, team no. in the AFL because your beloved North Melbourne Kangaroos won. I love how North actually posted to Michael Hibbert said on the podcast uh, that North aren't going to win a game. They clipped that up, just said ha-ha as the caption and just posted Michael Hibbert saying that. So he caught that, Michael Hibbert. Tough scenes. <laughs> yeah, because he and his premiership medal care. Nice. If you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on. Do it now. Do it. <laughs>